Hey everybody, happy holidays. Today we have a special guest. We have Emily Zillick, who is a money coach, and she is going to help us during the holidays when it's particularly hard for us to, I don't know, think about money. So welcome, Emily. Hi. So tell us, what, what are some of the things that your clients are going through right around this time of year? As a money coach, what kind of things you experience? Well, um, I, th I think one of the big things that people experience around money around the holidays is guilt. Mm -hmm. And people have a lot of guilt anyway yeah. about money. But we've become, as a culture, so um, commercially driven. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very difficult for people to separate out, especially around Christmas time, their values and their feelings from the shoulds and the obligations. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for people when they get in that someone gave me something and so I should give them something. There's, yes. there's this unspoken etiquette. Yes. And they don't really want to, but they feel like they should or they don't have enough money. They feel bad because they want to spend more than they, than they have. Yes. Or they spend more than they have and then they have regret. the holiday hangover afterwards. <laughs> yes. I actually had one of those things just recently. I have a, a group of ladies that I meditate with. And I thought it would be nice to do a holiday gift. And I thought, well, because this is probably the last time we're going to see them. So last year I bought these scarves. And I thought, oh, actually, I overspent. Because now I feel they are, I can sense that they're feeling bad that mm -hmm. I bought a gift that may cost more money than they bought me. So I thought this year I'm just going to bring some candy bars because I want to do something because it's Christmas, right? I want to do something, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do something so big that they feel bad. But then as I was walking in with my candy bars, I was thinking, I hope someone doesn't give me a really expensive because <laughs> then I'll feel bad. That's Is that the guilt that we're talking about? That's some of it. Yeah. I think it's hard for people to receive often. So... Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I teach all my clients to, to go based on feelings. Everything that I do is based on values and feelings. So yeah. how does it feel in your body and how does it feel emotionally? Right. And we, we want to give and we don't want to feel obligated. Yes. And it's hard for people to receive. It is. And I've had clients, and I've even been sucked into it myself, of, well... Now what do I do in this situation? Like you said, somebody gave me something expensive. I didn't really have it in my budget or didn't wasn't expecting to give you even get a thinking yeah. it. Right, exactly. Yeah. I, I got nothing for you. Right. Yeah. And I think there's a there's a grace in just receiving in, in that situation and just saying, you know, thank you. And most of the time I think we we get so wrapped up in our own thing that we forget that gracefully receiving is a, is a gift in, a, in and of right. itself. Yeah. Because like you said, you wanted to give something. Right. And I didn't want to, I, I felt, I really wanted, it felt good to me to give something, but the last time I felt bad about expressing that because it was like this, I, I, I just felt like, oops, I gave too much or, I, you know, it just, it feels uneven now. And I think I was making people fun, which is not my intent to make someone no. feel uneasy. So it's just something light and small that's like, Okay, here you go. You know, hopefully I did it right this time. And even then there's weirdness because you're thinking, oh, I hope somebody didn't give me something. I hope somebody didn't give me something. Like you were blocked even from right. the receiving right. because there's this weirdness. Yeah, like I, because I you ever can... gave last year, maybe they're going to give me something expensive and then we're like going to be starting all over again right. in this giving inequity. That's what it is. It's this kind of like giving tree inequity where you feel like, well – how do I match the dollar amount of the thing that someone gave me or the specialness? Like if someone made you a hand, like, Oh, Hey, I got you like a Starbucks gift card. You're like, well, I made you a hand knit sweater. Like, Oh, <laughs> it took me six months. Yeah. <laughs> I started thinking of you six months ago and yeah. you got me a Starbucks gift card on the way to the meeting. Exactly. <laughs> so you're like, Oh, I really feel like this is a little bit uneven. Well, and I think it's, like I said, we, we get, we forget we for, because there's this pressure that is externally expo imposed. Okay. So let me say, I give you a gift. I want to see what gracious receiving looks like. Okay. So I give you this gift. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you like 
different variations. I give you this like awful fruit cake. And you're like, I hate, in your head, you're like, I hate fruit See, I don't have, personally, I have no problem if somebody gives me a thing. Yeah. I take it in the energy, someone thought about me and gave me a thing. Yeah. And if it's not a thing that I want, I have no guilt about getting rid of it. Okay. So if it's a fruitcake and I don't eat fruitcake, um, which I don't because I'm gluten free, yeah. you know, either you give it to someone else or throw it out. I mean, the reality is that people usually, if they're giving to you out of obligation, if they're giving to me out of obligation, I feel bad that they felt obligated. Right. If they're giving to me because they thought of me, they care about yeah. me and they want to give something, then you just say, oh, thank you. Yeah. And it, it, does, it doesn't have to be any more <laughs> than that. Is that we all, part of it is, um, you and I have talked before about the five love languages. Yeah. So some people are gift people. Yeah. And and to be honest, I am not a gift person. Gift is my fifth love language. Right. So I don't give or expect to receive gifts as, a, as an expression of love. Yeah. But I understand that if someone is a gift person, yeah. they're giving to me because they're expressing love for me. Yeah. And, and it's about the fact that they got to do that. Yeah. And what I heard a quote once, and it was something about, if someone cares that much about something that they're going to get upset that you got rid of it, then they should keep it. <laughs> and, you know, and I feel like like we we get so attached to things, yeah. And we get so attached to, uh, you know, somebody gave me this thing, so I should keep it. Right. And uh, and it's not about that. And if it's about that to them, no, don't tell them. Don't right. tell them that you got rid of it. Right. But I think, uh, but I, I really feel like most people don't want you to feel guilty. They don't. I don't know. I'm, I, actually, I have this issue with my mom because I love my mom dearly. And the way her love, one of her primary love languages is gifts. Each time mm -hmm. I see her, she'll give me the gift and, and they're weird gifts. You know, some yes. of them are wonderful and some of them are weird. I'm like, I don't even know what you're thinking of, <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, is she was thinking about me. She's, right. She was at some flower show and she was thinking about me. She was at, you know, some place in Santa Fe and she was thinking about me. So the fact of the matter is that she's thinking about it. It's taken me a while because I used to go, don't you even know me? You know, this gift is just evidence that you don't even know me. <laughs> you know? Which is another thing we do with the holidays. Yeah. Right. Our expectations about what other people should get us. Yeah. Don't you know to. I'm gluten free? Why would you get me? Exactly. This thing? How you never listen to me. <laughs> exactly. Love language. So mm -hmm. her love language is gifts and time. And so, you know, accept the love in the package it comes, you know, and be happy about it. And I what I think what it boils down to is it's the expectation. So if we get disappointed because someone else didn't fulfill the expectation that we have. Right. And we're worried about them getting upset because we're not fulfilling the expectation that they have. Right. And the reality is that you're responsible for your own stuff and you can't take the responsibility for someone else. So yeah. if someone's going to get upset because you pass on or give away or whatever a gift that they gave you, you really can't take responsibility for that. Right. And... If they give you something because they expect something in return, which I truly don't believe most people do, maybe mm -hmm. it's the people that I hang out with. I know there are people who do. Yeah. But if they do that, that doesn't create a requirement that you fulfill their expectation. That's their expectation. Right. And yeah. as hard as it is for all of us, you can't keep everyone happy. Yeah, and that's I, true. And so to... to, to to make it, if they're going to be upset about it, and then you're going to be upset about the fact that they're upset about it, and we're talking about holidays, which are supposed to be about connection and being with people. Right. And everybody's upset because we're all trying to fulfill someone else's expectation. Yeah. It destroys the entire thing. Like, I guess yeah. that's part of what is so frustrating Yeah, that's why I'm not me. getting any gifts for anyone this season. I've, there's been times <laughs> where I've said, I don't, I don't want to do gifts. No, I, I, we didn't do that this year, but there's yeah. been years where I've said, can we just hang out and be together? I mean, to me, you decide in advance, what do I want this to be about? It's the same yeah. as what are my highest values? Yeah. I want holidays to be about connection and not about money. It's not, it's not about money and stuff to me. It's about being grateful and spending time together and appreciating what you have. 
Right. And, you know, we destroy it by setting up all of these strange rules that nobody right. can keep track of. Right. And again, we all have different ways that we express things and different expectations, and you don't really know what the other person's expectation is. But again, that's also not really your responsibility. Yeah, that's a really good point. I never thought about it because it's the same. It's the same dynamic throughout all of the different interactions, right? Like either you're having Thanksgiving dinner, and you know, so and so wants you know the canned cranberry because they think it's better than the homemade <laughs> cranberry sauce, you know, and and. It, it all goes down to expectations, right? You're right. trying to make all these people happy because one of your aunts likes this, another aunt likes that, and you're trying to make them happy because both of them think the other one's idea is stupid because right. you went to their house last Thanksgiving, <laughs> and oh my God, she had the can, or oh my God, she didn't have the can, you know, all those kind right. of things. So you're, you're trying to like peacefully negotiate all these different things. So the same thing happens with the gifts. The gifts are just yet another form of like, Here's my expectation. I'm doing this, and I'm hoping that this is going to meet your expectations. Of what is an appropriate gift? And it's like, don't. And and I, what I'm hearing you say is, don't think that way. Just give from your heart and say, here's, I'm, you know, this is what I'm giving you. Yeah, right. I, I'm not thinking and, about what you're giving me or what is right. in return or any of that stuff. And the universe is about flow, keeping things moving. So. Yeah. It, it, if you're if you're receiving things and you pass them on to someone who's going to love them, that's that's an example of flow. Right. If you're giving something from love, then you're in the flow. If you're giving something out of obligation, you're out of the flow anyway because right. you already have clingy, yucky feelings about it. <laughs> it's already, it started out weird <laughs> because you've already got this expectation, and right. then the other person's supposed to know your expectation and read your mind, which is never going to make anybody happy. Right. And if you're if you're not a gift person and the person is a gift person. So I have two children also, a 12-year-old yeah. and a 14-year-old. My son is a gift person and oh. he will plan gifts for months. Oh. And I sweet. and he will hand make things. It's very sweet and it's very much from love. Yeah. And I am not a gift person <laughs> as we previously discussed. And as they get older, they want more expensive things. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. What I realized, though, is when you talk to them about what your values are and what Christmas is about to you, mm -hmm. and they understand that it's about family. People are, the, people are more important than things. Mm -hmm. And I give my kids usually experiences instead mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I also require my kids to earn things that they... You know, mm -hmm. if they want the new expensive phone, there's a standard at which I will buy them a phone. Mm -hmm. And if they want something more than that, they get to make the money. Right. And I think we forget that too. In, in the guilt of I want to provide everything for kids, for example. Right. We forget the, the strength that comes from them learning that they can, that they can do it on their own, that they right. can make things happen on their own. That's a really good point. So yeah, it is hard. It, it's hard as they get older, especially. Yeah. Yeah. And so you start before, you know, yeah. you start having the conversation before. So going back to your original statement, it's about your values. And so it's really like if I believe in independence and I believe in connection and family time or whatever, whatever the holidays means for me from a value perspective, look at it from that perspective. When you're buying right. gifts, you're spending any money like and I think, you know, for me, so for you, what is how it's about connection? What are the other things for you? What are the values for you? Um, connection, family, mm -hmm. um, peace. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that it's time that society sets aside that we're not doing other things. You know, yeah. we're being together. Yeah. And I have no judgment of people who are gift people. Right. If if you're if you love giving gifts and it truly brings you joy, then give gifts and be okay with with know that someone else may not be a gift person. Right. And if I, my experience has been when you come to something from love. When you come from the place of, I just, I saw this and I really wanted to get it for you. Yeah. And they feel that there's no expectation. Right. You, you make it easier for them to receive. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't, you can't control their, if they're going to feel guilty, you can't stop them necessarily, but it's about the energy you bring to it. So if you yeah. want to give gifts and you want to give expensive gifts and it doesn't put you out and it doesn't, you know, you've got the resources, then give, 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 keep giving. Yeah. yeah. And again, it's a way to keep the flow going. Yeah. If you, if you, if your version of flow is different, if your truth is different, 
then stick with your truth. I mean, right. that, that's what money is about, is, yeah. is being in your truth. Yeah. And all our truth is different. The, yeah. There's a couple of weeks from Christmas. Yeah. So we've got still even time to talk about it. And I think, again, when you come from a place of, of love and, and honesty and truth, and say, this is what's really important to me, and this is how I want our Christmas to be, and can we talk about it? There's no unspoken expectation anymore. Yeah, I love that idea of just yeah, of getting clear with what your values are as a family because I don't think I've ever done that. I, I've not sat down and said, what is this Christmas about for us? What are the values that we want to hold dear, and how do we actually hold that congruent throughout the whole thing? It means so much to me that you're listening to the show. I would love your support in any way by giving me comments below, or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support, love, and blessings.